Initially, my clients were looking at doing about a six to eight foot extension on the home in order to open it up and give them more space. Once they ran the numbers, it proved to be cost prohibitive. They have two young girls and they were looking obviously like everybody else in the city to sort of get more usable, family friendly space. We determined that by removing just a couple of walls, um, I mean, I say that lightly, but really that was a huge undertaking and you know took up a big chunk of the budget to the structural and the engineering component. They called me in after they decided that actually, because they needed assistance with the renovation and planning out the space from start to finish. The front hall was, can we say, lacking in character. It was a little boring and that's okay. I'm not offending anybody. <laughs> the millwork in the front hall was pre-existing. Just to elevate it a little bit and make it a little bit warmer and chicer, I had it wallpapered. This is a Missoni wallpaper from Newall. Okay, so when you say Missoni, like you think like holy cajoli, like that's mega boku dollars, but this is actually a vinyl paper, so very good for families. It's much better to clean and to take care of than even regular paint or drywall. And it didn't break the bank. Doesn't it feel like a cozy hug, like a chic little Missoni like throw or sweater? The kids are very creative. They're into music and art. And the front room was always like a playroom, catch-all room for the kids, for the girls. So we decided with my clients that that front room would be dedicated as a cool little sitting spot for the two girls and they would have their guitar and piano there as well set up. That room is just so cute and cozy and it's just a little space for their kids to be able to get creative. The vibe of this home is sort of more, I would say, transitional modern. We added a fireplace, those really cool sconces. They're brass with alabaster, which is pretty cool because it's great how those two lights have a different patina and finish on them. Oh, that sofa is like a spaceship, it's so good. <laughs> um, one of the other big criteria for my clients was to have a big, luxurious, comfy sofa. And in a space that's not too wide, we wanted it to be a little bit lower to the ground. It still allows for that sight line from the front room back into the kitchen and it doesn't feel overwhelming. I like the arm so you can easily sit on them. Exactly dual purpose and you can use them as like a side table for your drinks or for whatever, yeah. Your nuts, your Skittles. I got a whole bowl of Skittles in the front, you guys. I know, I ate like a whole handful yesterday. It was crazy. <laughs> okay, so the kitchen. White kitchens. Do people like them? Do people not like them? I mean, in this case, my clients love white kitchens. One of the cool things that we did was to freshen it up and modernize it is give them a blue island. The island is Hail Navy by Benjamin Moore. My client loves the color blue and yellow. Happy colors, I would say, but 100% always wanted a white kitchen. One of the other elements was obviously getting in as much storage space as we possibly could squeeze in into this space. So we included a cute little banquette that could function as a secondary dining space, a homework space for the kids, and it's maximized for storage. There is pull-out storage underneath for all of the kids, you know, paper and pens and crafts and scissors and whatever. Look, see, I wasn't lying. Kid stuff. <laughs> the appliance garage slash the coffee station. If space allows for that, have an appliance garage or a space where you can store all those things that would naturally live on a counter and clutter up a space. And then that way, when you know your guests come over, when you at the end of the day, when you're sort of done your post-dinner cleanup, you close those doors shut and you don't have 600 different appliances out on your counter. And then opposite of me is a little catch-all entry station where you come in, put your mail down, and then there's also additional storage, you know, for broom and cleaning supplies and what have you. So we literally considered every single lifestyle element or component, you know, my client's everyday routine when planning out this kitchen. I think that's important to consider too. Not just, I want a beautiful island and beautiful appliances. It's the not so like sexy, but everyday stuff. 
stuff. You don't want your crap all over the place after you've spent so much time and money renovating your home. Consider the boring things like where do I put my broom? Where do I put my vacuum? Where do I put my, you know, paper towels? Those are all the practical things that you need to think of, particularly when you're designing a kitchen.